Here we have the Russian Ural two-wheel drive sidecar. It's like nothing else I've ridden before. I'm a motorcycle rider. Three wheels is quite alien for me, so I, I thought this was an epic challenge. And oh my goodness, I have to say, like, I've never ridden anything as crazy as this, yet I really enjoyed every mile. The bike's got so much character. It's stunning looking. This bike has hardly changed in 50 years, so it's got a great classic look. So you've got this third wheel that's stuck out there. That allows you to go around left-hand corners <laughs> really quickly because uh, the bike is just not going to be able to fall over. It's got this supporting outside wheel. Going around right-handers, however, uh, is completely the opposite. Suddenly, you really do need a lot of weight in there to keep that wheel down. It's very easy to lift that wheel if you go too quickly or turn too sharply or do anything that's going to upset that balance. So you've got to be really careful. This has taken me quite a while to learn how to ride. So for the engine, it's a 750 Boxer engine, two cylinder. It doesn't provide a lot of horsepower, only just over 40 horsepower. Not a lot of power for such a big, heavy machine. However, you don't need much more. I wouldn't actually recommend that you have much more because like I said, it's a unique ride. It does kind of strange things. It has its own characteristics. So having this kind of low power engine that provides just a linear, smooth power delivery is a good thing. I found that the gearbox was probably the weakest part of the bike, but if you take your time, use the clutch, and make sure that you definitely engage that gear, it's not a problem. So this is a four speed, and it also has a reverse, <laughs> which is lots of fun, but you do need a reverse on a sidecar. Carburetes pretty well, it's very well sprung, it's got very un unique shock absorbers there on the front, but they you know, they hold the road well, the rear brake works not only the back here but the outside wheel, so the bike does move around when you use the brakes, it kind of steers itself, it's unique, it's a sidecar. It also has a handbrake kickstart should you run out of battery because there is lots of gadgets on this bike, an extra light here and two-wheel drive. All of these are just a simple lever mechanism, adds a lot of character to the bike. You only should use the two-wheel drive when you go off-road. Don't use it on-road. Uh, it really upsets the characteristics of the bike and behaves really strangely. But off-road, you can engage that wheel and that wheel will drive, the outside wheel drives and provides you with extra grip, allowing you to go really on some rough terrain and really enjoy a sidecar like you wouldn't expect it. I've taken this sidecar all over the place and really enjoyed the off-road section. It comes with spare fuel, spare tyre, shovel, toolkit, an enormous amount of space here in the back so you can take lots of supplies with you and I have utilised this space in every degree. We've used a spare tyre, I've run out of gas, we've had to dig ourselves out of holes, I've taken loads of supplies with me. Usually on a motorcycle you're very limited to take things with you. The sidecar not only provides you with loads of space here, it also provides you with the opportunity to take somebody with you and really share the experience in a very different way than what you would normally do on a motorcycle. If you take somebody with you on the motorcycle, they just sat behind you, you don't really interact with them very much. Sat next to you, it's totally different. I took my family with me, really enjoyed it. I've taken friends. I, I've never enjoyed usually looking at a sidecar. I've always been a motorcycle guy. Now, I love sidecars. I can't believe I'm saying it. This provides with such a unique ride, a brilliant opportunity to share the experience with someone. It is different, but it's a wonderful ride. And if you're thinking about this in your lives, I recommend it. Sidecars get the motor to your thumbs up.